Good morning. My name is Kit Whistler. This is Sunshine Love Bus and we are reporting to you live from a deep Rocky Mountain Canyon. That's today's view. The spot you see behind me is a typical camp spot for us. Most days we will come out down a dirt road like this one and we will drive our way out to a remote camp spot to sleep in places like this. Hello sunshine. Good morning. My are you looking fine. Right here is the kitchen. Oh no I left my milk on. Yikes. Gotta turn that off. That's my partner JR. What we do is travel around and make art. Wow! What you doing, JR? Onward and upward, here we go. He's got the drone going up and that probably means it's time for me to get in the shot, is it, JR? Come on over, Kit. We're getting your close up far away from the drone. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote some poetry and we are making some videos to go with that poetry. We have this fun new idea for a series. Stay tuned, it's coming up. That's what my point of view is. Doesn't he look a little bit like a bug with a single cyclops eye? You making fun of me over there? <laughs> These storms in the Alpine let me tell you what, they're serious. It will be sunny and all of a sudden a storm will roll in. That is, wow. Ginger snaps. Here's the thing about rainy days. Enough of them on the road, a good thing. Because what do I have to do today? At this point, sit in the bus. What would I have been doing? Driving over a pass, talking to marmots, spying on moose. These are the things that distract me from doing the things I'm supposed to do as a grown-up. Rainy days, most of the time, bring out the grown-up in me. I get serious. I want two cups of coffee. I'll usually get writing done, edit photos. Sometimes I'll pull out my bookkeeping we just love to run around and take photos and take video. We kind of forget to edit them and send them out online. So then we have thousands of photos and have never shared them because we just want to run up to the next lake, swim, take more photos. So on a day like today, we will edit, we will write, we will, yes, sometimes get to mild accounting. And when I say mild, I mean mild. JR and I live in this bus. This is where we sleep every night. This is where we do most of our working, our cooking, our traveling, you name it. In this space that you see right here, on stormy days, rainy, wet days, windy days, snowy days, we spend all day in this bus. Two people, that's not much space, right? We've learned to manage it well. And here's how. We have kind of designated spaces we'll take up and we'll take turns in them. One of us will work back here on the larger back seat and the other will work in the front in the swivel seat. At night, one of us goes up into the bed in the pop top while the other one is downstairs and that can give us the extra space. Another way we've learned to deal with it is take advantage of the sunny days. When we're doing this right, we will look at the weather and say, wow, it is going to be an amazing two days and we'll use those two days by being outside a hundred percent of the time we'll go on a hike we'll go on a backpacking trip we will be outside on the nice days and then be completely inside on the not nice days the last tactic that we have and this is a fallback we will go into town and use a library or a coffee shop for a day I wouldn't say that that's our go-to, but if we need it, we'll recognize it. We did do our tactic of spending the nice day at a waterfall this week, so I am ready to get to it and do some writing. And I just realized I had a huge roll of toilet paper over my head this entire time. We have to travel with toilet paper because sometimes in these outhouses, 
you don't know. It was not my intention to put that in front of your face, floating above my head like a halo, so I apologize for that. I'm going to write bye. Ow! Ah! Tiny living space. Ow. Let's go for a walk. Hi, sunshine. That's a nice camp, isn't it? Look at that, right at the V of the valley. We are the only ones crazy enough to camp in full day of rain. We have some very cute, kind of noisy, but we don't mind neighbors. Let's see if we can find them. That is a pika. Pikas are related to rabbits. They live here in the scree, which is all of that rock behind me. I love having them for neighbors. They are super cute. What did you get yourself into, JR? The good news is the rain cleared out the whole canyon. More firewood for us. I just plundered the next campsite down. I got wild ground boar, 100% hunted wild boar. I had it as a patty with some mustard and purple cabbage cooked down with butter. What can I say? I take after sunshine. I'm a German grandma at heart. That's just how I eat and it's how I drive and it's how I live. I'm not German. I do carry three kinds of mustard at any given moment and I really like sauerkraut. I was told I'm Polish by descent, but maybe this is wrong. Everything in my life is panning out to be German. This is the shot I was gonna set up for you and JR no note it, so you're not gonna be what Hey! Dishes. This is the thing. If you're trying to be a vlogger or make a video and your partner makes videos professionally, be prepared because they're gonna see your shot and it's gonna be looking up your nostrils. You're gonna be like, that's fine. And they're gonna say, no, it's not cinematic. And you're gonna say, I'm just trying to do the dishes. And they're gonna say, that needs to look epic or else who cares? And you're gonna say, cause it's not about epic. And then you're gonna go back and forth and back and forth. The moral of the story is that you probably don't want to see my nostrils. You can see my the detail of my eyebrows instead. How do they look? Lately, I've been writing poetry a lot. I have this idea of shooting videos to go with my poetry. I love how poetry is music with words. Recently, we had a really moody morning where it was raining. JR woke up before me and got these gorgeous shots of the fog on the ridge line. And we were talking about sunshine being shelter from the storm. So I wrote a poem today. It's about finding shelter in a world that is often uncomfortable. And that is something I think about a lot when it's storming and we're here in sunshine all day. It's interesting because all animals need... Sorry. No, you're okay. <laughs> People usually call their houses homes, but they wouldn't say that's my shelter. Shelter seems so austere. When we looked at the videos and we saw sunshine sitting there below this dramatic ridge line, both of us said, that's our shelter. And it kind of is that way with sunshine. We have some creature comforts in here, but it is primitive. On a rainy day, we're not gonna get wet, but we're gonna feel the dampness in the air because our pop top is canvas. As you notice, I started the day in a sundress and now have a ski jacket on. Am I comfortable enough because of my shelter? I am, but there's an edge to it and that inspires me. Sorry. No, you're okay. <laughs> For the first time since 9 a.m., it is not raining. The most important thing about a fire is little sticks. Make them small, then they'll light. Well, would you looky there? We got warmth in our shelter. I'd say that what I learned today is I value being uncomfortable and I would challenge you to try it too, even in a small way.
okay try it go to a little bit of an edge turn their shower to cold for just a second try that out not turning your heat up and maybe putting on a jacket instead if you come up with a way to challenge yourself to be uncomfortable afterwards treat yourself to a little creature comfort and let me know how that experience is for you thank you so much for coming down this back road hanging out with me and some furry pikas in a furry jr <laughs> I hope that you are challenged to find your own discomfort, even in a, a little way. I love you guys. Me and the Pikas and JR say goodnight. Till next time.